So, if the last two centuries have taught us anything, it's that space is really, really safe. Oh yes, of course, that certainly seems to be the case. For that reason, we've decided to design a Federation starship that treats spaceflight as the risk-free leisure experience that it really is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Galaxy Class. Fully equipped with six massage parlours, 14 vegan cafes, two pencil museums, two dolphin aquariums and a botanical gardens, the Galaxy Class is truly the most versatile craft in Federation history. Well, this all sounds fantastic, but what about the rising tensions with the Cardassian Union? I'm glad you asked. The Galaxy Class is equipped to deal with any diplomatic contention. With chefs capable of preparing regional meals from across known space, a large contingent of clowns, pianists and table dancers, as well as up to 140 metric tons of breadsticks and dips for deployment in any conference. Truly no disagreement is possible in the face of such comforts. Not to mention we've always managed to peacefully work out our differences with our neighbours in the past. Well, that sounds perfectly reasonable to me. But the Federation Council will require at least some kind of defensive contingency, even if there's no chance it would ever be used. Well, we've thought about that. Should a hostile vessel somehow prove dissatisfied with our selection of snacks and beverages and choose to engage the Galaxy Class in combat, the ship is designed to separate at the neck into two vessels and allow the onboard civilian population to escape. Ah, I see. So the civilians are evacuated into the Star Drive section and warped away, while the saucer section stays behind on impulse power to heroically hold off the enemy. No. The civilians are evacuated into the saucer section, where they have no warp drive. They are then thrown toward the enemy with vague instructions to run away at painfully slow speeds. That way the crew in the Star Drive section can pull up a semi-heroic fight, but if the situation doesn't look good they can just warp away. Wouldn't that leave the civilians in the saucer section completely vulnerable? Yes, but thankfully two-thirds of the ship's swimming baths, art galleries, zumba classes, breweries, crazy golf courses and bouncy castles are in the Star Drive section, so those should survive any emergency unscathed. Oh well, that's okay then. The Galaxy Class, the safest possible place to put 1,014 civilians, children and dolphins, coming 2361. Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.